Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hope and I did this video last year and I'm gonna do it again and it is hot Earl summer. So I love an Earl. I mean, I love any kind of, I love any hero in historical romance. He doesn't even have to be an Earl. But I feel like I usually read quite a few books about Earls throughout the year. Um, not really intentionally, but I mean, I, Earls and Dukes I feel like are the most common. So I feel like I read a ton of both of those. This year, I did not read that many Earls. I only have five books in my hands. Oh god, I sound like Tyra Banks on America's Next Top Model. I only have five photos in my hands. Um, okay, no, so I only have five books, but that's okay, because these were all good books. So, like, okay. Happy hot Earl summer, my friends. But, no. Um, I wish I had an Earl this summer. But I read five books about Earls. And I'm going to share them with you because I recommend all five of these. I think they're all great. Honestly, I feel like I might have mentioned one of them last year, but mm, we're going to do it again anyway. Who cares? Because it's one of my favorite books. So I'm like, we are recommending this book. So the first one that I have is The Reluctant Countess by Eloisa James. You guys knew there was going to be an Eloisa James book in here because I'm obsessed with her. That's, that's the story. I'm obsessed with her. So in this one, we are following Yasmin and Giles. Giles, we do this every single time. Anyway, this is a would-be Wallflowers novel too. So this series is still ongoing. Anyway, Yasmin is French. She has come to England. Her mom was Napoleon's mistress. And Giles is an Earl. And he's a bit uptight and stuffy. And he has a demon sister. Oh, and he's like trying to get married. So Yasmin is not really trying to get married. She thinks maybe she wants to marry an older man. Who knows? So they kind of hang out with the same friend group, but they're not really friends. He doesn't really approve of her. She like dampens her skirts and she's French and her mom was Napoleon's mistress. And even though she kind of knows this, she goes out of her way to try to like be his friend, make him laugh, make him smile, whatever. And he does appreciate this. He does like her. He's attracted to her, but he tries really hard to stay disapproving. So they kind of end up teaming up because he proposes to her and she's like, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. I don't really want to be a countess. I don't want to be a politician's wife. None of that. And also his sister hates her, but his sister is running absolutely wild. She is horrific and he is trying to keep everything scandal free. So him and his sister are like, she'll be good if he doesn't talk to Yasmin. But of course he still does. They're thrown together for a lot of things, scavenger hunts, just all kinds of stuff. But a lot of the people in the town don't really like her either. And they kind of treat her really crappily. And he is starting to see this and he's starting to realize that maybe he did too. But he has also realized that he does really want to marry her. And she wants to marry him, but she is slightly terrified of everything. She doesn't want to be a countess. She doesn't want to do any of that. And this is their story. She has a past. Not really, I mean, it's honestly, it's not really that bad. She has a past, but it's kind of coming back to haunt her in a way. And he has to make these decisions. What's more important, his sister or what? You know, his love, his life. Like, it was so good. I really liked it. I think I gave it four stars. You guys know I always love Eloisa James's books. I've never given one less than three stars. Um, I just, I love them. I don't ever DNF them. I think they're fantastic. And I think this one's really good. It's a really good installment in the series. And it really lets you know Yasmin better. We've met her in um, How to Be a Wallflower, and she was a great side character. So I was really excited to see that I think her book did her justice. Like, I think that she got the story that she deserved, and it was really, really great. So then the next one that I have is What Happens in the Ballroom by Sabrina Jeffries. This is part of the Designing Debutante series, and it is fun too. So we have Nathaniel, who is an Earl, and Eliza, whose family kind of plans like parties and stuff. Her and her sisters do this. They plan parties, they like help people meet people, all kinds of things. They work, and their business is kind of popular, but it is, you know, one of those things where they have to be completely scandal free. So Nathaniel asks Eliza if her and her sisters can help him launch his new ward. So Eliza instantly thinks maybe there's something going on. The ward is kind of obsessed with him and the girl has a child, but she doesn't really know the whole story. But I feel like maybe, El yeah, Eliza is a widow and Nathaniel was really good friends with Eliza's former husband. Um, but he died like in the war and then coming back, Nathaniel has realized a lot of things about him and 
he doesn't ever want to upset Eliza, but of course that's going to happen. So the two of them start spending time together to launch this girl into society, but also they're like, you have to stay away from the girl. And in doing that, him and Eliza start spending more and more time together, and they realize that they have feelings for each other, but Eliza doesn't think that they can be together, but of course, <laughs> where there's a will, there's a way. Wow. That was corny. I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was cute. I have not read the first book in the series, but I will go back and read it. Sabrina Jeffries is another author that I usually love her books. Um, I'm a big fan. She's from Louisiana, just like me. And I just think she crafts beautiful stories. So I will continue reading this series. And I really did like Eliza and Daniel. I feel like Sabrina Jeffries is one that used to have these absolutely amazing setbacks and setbacks. And now we just get like a cover that's not even like a couple embracing or half nude or anything, you know? And I just really wish that we could bring setbacks back into our romance. Eloisa James also has amazing setbacks, but not anymore. Okay, so next we have The Devil and the Heiress by Harper St. George. I'm slowly making my way through the Gilded Age Heiresses series. This is the second book. In this one, we are following Violet, who is an American heiress, and she's in England, and Christian, who is an earl and kind of a bad boy. So Violet has decided she doesn't want to get married. She wants to run away, and she wants to become a published author. But Christian has decided that he is going to marry Violet, even because, like, he needs money because he has a Scottish estate that's kind of impoverished and he needs money to fix it. So he realizes that she's going to run away and he decides that he's going to be there to help her. So he like gets her in the carriage, he's like taking her away. She's kind of like, huh, it's really interesting that he just popped up everywhere, isn't it? But along the way, there's a lot of attraction there and he realizes that he actually wants to marry her, not like he just wants to marry her for her money. But then they have to convince her dad, who has been kind of a hard ass about all of this in the other book as well. And honestly, this one was pretty good. Like, I liked it. I love a road trip romance. I love a runaway heiress romance. I think it's a lot of fun. And I always, for whatever reason, end up enjoying books with devil in the title. Um, Devil's Bride, Between the Devil and Ian Eversee. Like, I just really do enjoy, like, the devil guy character even though he's never really as bad as he seems so I think this is a pretty solid one I really liked the first book in the series a little bit more but this one is pretty solid I can't wait to read the next two and see what happens because we've kind of met our cast of characters already and I think they're great then I have West and Earl by Bethany Bennett y'all I loved West and Earl okay <laughs> like I sang its praises last year but I can't remember if I talked about it in last year's hot Earl summer video but also I don't care so in this one we are following Ophelia who is masquerading as her dead brother Adam and she is working with Cal who is an Earl so the feeling Cal are like best friends he doesn't know she's a woman until she gets attacked and he's nursing her back to health and he's like oh shit she's a woman so then he brings her back to his house and they're trying to sort out what's going on she has this evil uncle who is trying to keep her from inheriting because him and everyone else think that she's the one that died um years ago even though it was her brother because her uncle was really mistreating them and just all kinds of stuff and someone helped them so she's been with Cal, but they realize that danger's afoot, so she goes up to his estate to help prepare for a house party. She's still dressing as Adam, the brother. So she goes to help prepare for this house party, and literal chaos ensues. And when chaos ensues, Ophelia decides to take matters in her own hands and help. I love this one. They were such good friends, like, but when it started out, I mean, they were good friends the whole time. And we find out that Ophelia will do almost anything, you know, to help her friends, to help her family. And, uh, and Cal and his family are basically her family too and I thought they were really sweet he was very accepting very quickly but I loved their friendship as well you also get to see it in any rogue will do before they know that she's a woman there's just like the friendship is fantastic I really loved this it's very plot heavy and I really enjoyed it there's a lot of twists and turns that you'll never expect I just really thought this was so good. Like, I definitely recommend this book. Like, loved it. This is my favorite out of the series. The last one that I have is A Reckless Match by Kate Bateman. In this one, we are following Griff and Maddie. They are from feuding families. Maddie is a Montgomery, Griff is a Davies. And they have to do this thing where every single year they go to the specific spot and two members of the family, one from each side, they go and they shake hands. This year it's Griff and Maddie and that kind of sets off all of the events of the series. So there are smugglers and like hunts for treasure and like being trapped in crazy places and 
all kinds of stuff. Also, absolutely fantastic banter. I loved it. I love feuding families, and I think these are done really well. They don't absolutely hate each other. They're not trying to kill each other. They're more of, like, friendly rivals in a way. They're literally neighbors. They're kind of friendly rivals. They have great banter, but they also will protect each other, and they play, like, they play together as children. They're friends, and I think it's really good. I love to see this blossom from, like, this frenemies-type relationship into like a full-blown love story i loved it i loved all of the plot in this it's like mildly plot heavy and i really liked that because you just get to like see so much like it's wild i really loved it i think this is a great series starter i cannot recommend ruthless rivals enough like jump on that it's so good so yeah all right so that is five earl books not as many as last summer. Who knows um, what we'll have in 2024. I just really love like the name of it and I also love to share like books about you know different types of aristocracy because I feel like sometimes like there's a lot of commonalities between like books about dukes. Like all dukes are just like very a lot. Like they're kind of in your face. They're very arrogant like but they have hearts of gold. They'll do anything whatever. I love those. And I feel like there are some commonalities between the Earls. Like, they are very, like, self-assured. They know a lot about themselves, but they're always willing to, like, help other people, even though they sometimes do it in a little bit of a devious manner. Like, absolutely love it. I'm going to be sharing um, all of my Dukes coming up in the next couple months, and I feel like I've read about a thousand of those, so that's probably going to be a really long video. But that's it. That's all that I have for you guys today. I do hope that you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!